What's up guys, it's me what going on of HQ Arts as always and it's been such a long time since HQ Arts and I have been making tuts. Uh, we need some of our members out there to get active on those tuts. I know you guys are working on edits and everything but hey, we need some tuts up too. Pressure, he's going to be unavailable for some days because he got into a car accident. Hope he feels better. I mean, not a car accident, he was riding his bike, and a car hit him, but, let's not get into that, but, one of my best friends, and, yeah, so let's get to that tutorial, I might be teaching you guys, you know, it's on the title, why the hell do I have to repeat it for you guys, pretty much all you gotta do is, make a new comp, any size, whatever, just drag your clip into this thing, and makes a new comp for you, with the correct settings, and you trim it down. I'm not gonna teach you guys how to do that. Should be if you don't know how to do that, go watch some Andrew Crane or shit or something. But yeah, so we're gonna wanna make a new no object enter tracker. Make go to layer new uh, solid. Make cup size okay. Let's untick that for right now. Cause we'll need it. All right. So you're going to want to go to your main clip, your clip, let me rename this to clip, and then you're going to want to go to tracker, track motion, yeah, you're going to want to go to tracker, right? If you don't have that, go to window, tracker, now you're going to want to go to track motion, okay, and then let's get this little corner of the anchor of this thingy, make this hella huge, Oops. make this thing bigger. This one. The bigger it is, the better the tracking is going to be because it picks up more pixels, so it should hit every single time I click. Uh, uh, and I work, but just press the play button, and boom, it was perfect. Ooh, look at that, it was perfect, dude. Now you're going to want to go to Edit Target. Let's set this to Tracker. Okay. Apply X and Y. Okay. Take this out. And then as you can see, the no object, this red box, follows the anchor. So all you're gonna do now is go to this little piglet on the black solid, which will be optical flares, and put it to tracker. And rename it to op for optical flares. And you want to go to effect optical flares or you go by the optical flares, you know the deal. Now you're gonna want to put this. Oh yeah, it's not turned on. That's why you're not seeing anything. You're gonna want to put this on transparent. You're gonna want to move this thingy right here. Let's get a better flare. Why don't we? Uh, a little light. I like this one. Take out some irises. Okay. And let's. Lower down the brightness, increase the scale. No, lower up the brightness. Yeah, boy. Check it out. It sticks with the gun. You fix this part. All you gotta do is go to screen. Ah, oh, yeah. Shit. They made it worse. <laughs> uh. Oh yeah. Let's make it on black. Should work. I don't understand what's wrong. Well, anyways, people might won't really notice that because this is going to be really fast. But I guess if you really want to, if you really want to fix this part, you're going to have to. Mess around this stuff. There we go. Light. There we go. Ah, something up. There you go. Oh, there you go. See that? Oh boy. You don't even know. That looks sexy as well. Thanks for watching, guys. This is Swagga9 of H Guards, and I am out. There for all your perverts. <laughs>